Masquera say Imre Zimbabwe, welcome to our channel Zim Confessions and Deep Secrets. Can I carry up tank out quick in my channel? Please don't forget to subscribe. Can I go a subscriber? Don't forget to comment and share this video. Nas Imre Zimbabwe, Tabugirai, Niaburis, Kwana Nosan Chamisa, Wea Buddha, Ashtaura, Pamsoro Pifusungwa, Kwakaita. Uh, one of my opposition leaders was Jameson Timba. But we chat in around 70 uh, my supporters, uh, CCC, who uh, are aligned with uh, Jamisa. So, uh, uh, so uh, this group, uh, CCC, was uh, a meeting which commemorated the uh, holiday in South Africa uh, over a bribe. So, uh, they were planning to form a pro they were planning a protest in Mapurisa, Zimbabwe. So I know some Chamisa, Babuda, but Taura, I'm sorry, people in Lokuru, Kwanye, the police, Mare Zimbabwe, Babuda, a city. Babuda is posted by Ekren, the Ova Store, a city. Police in the new Zimbabwe, in the new citizen government, police service will be fully professional and uphold human rights and be held accountable through one rights based policing approach prioritizing citizen protection two fostering a culture of human rights and citizen dignity honoring fundamental freedoms three rigorous public oversight via civili civilian review boards public hearings and transparent reporting four mandatory training on respecting civil liberties de-escalation and cultural competency Five, merit-based promotions to reduce political influence. Six, community, community-driven restorative justice, emphasizing rehabilitation over re retribution. Seven, preventative initiatives and community engagement to build trust. Eight, digital policing to reduce physical encounters and potential rights violation. And the police who respect human rights and be answerable to the citizens they serve. There, is, there will be zero tolerance or acceptance to terror tactics, torture, inhuman, degrading treatment, and oppressive tacti tactics as the ones being witnessed on the 79, on the 79 from the 16th and many others. Hashtag for everyone. treatment a Jameson team, but I'm sure in my youth, I'm going to have a now with Zimbabwe. The Amalgamated Rural Teachers Union of Zimbabwe, a Rabuda, a Chema Chema to the Zimbabwe Republic Police, a good brutalized one. Okay, it was their senior member, a Uyo, a lot of my disabilities, a star of evil, a what she described by this attack is the blatant violation of constitutional rights Mare Zimbabwe. T the ARTUZ Harare Province Secretary General Ronald Wondongwa Makasungwa Pamuchete the Citizens Coalition for Change Pamuchete na the Citizens Coalition for Change interim leader Wa Jameson Timba Pamuchete Nevamo seventy eight over the weekend Mare Zimbabwe. So in a statement the ARTUZ eh, Abuda Mr. Iyo Ishiti Kuruwa kwa hitu kwa vao ndogo hava mwuko wa nagari hapo e, by the security state forces wako ndi resort wa wani kwa wachi sustain ama injuries hakati wa ndi izu wakari wako ndi wakati kuoka gumbo mwere zimbabwe sozo ndi ze result vao ndogo wani mazua wasi nga geze e, furthermore e, the ARTUZ ya kabude chaura iyo chiti kurambi zao kwa hitu kwa beyu e, e, kubabuda wasi chaura iyo Chema Chema, the crumble of white or bail, a Kunawa on Dogwa, Rabuda Sarajit. It's distressing to note that one of the on Dogwa's artificial leg was damaged while in state custody, and he, he, he sustained injuries to, only, to his only functional end. He hasn't been able to bath for four days, struggling to walk due to the broken artificial leg. He's facing significant hardship. We hope that bail will be granted soon to provide him relief and the opportunity to address his needs. The RTUZ is outraged by the arrest and police brutality against our Rally Province Secretary General 
Ronald Hondogwa, who was vicious, viciously attacked by state agents, for state security forces, while peacefully commemorating the Day of the African Child with the CCC youths. This is a blatant violation of the constitutional rights to freedom, to freedom of assembly and association enshrined in Section 58. We demand that the police and all state agents respect the rule of law and the rights guaranteed in our constitution. Police brutality is completely unacceptable and cannot be tolerated under any circumstances. The continued crackdown on democratic space in Zimbabwe is a grave concern. We will not stand by as the state trembles on the hard-won liberties of the Zimbabwean people. Enough is enough. If we remain silent in the face of such injustice, we become complicit in these abhorrent act of state-sponsored sponsored violence. And we call on all citizens to join us in condemning this tyranny only through collective action. Can we put an end to these attacks on our fundamental freedoms? A RT use that will not be cowed by intimidations, intimidation tactics. We will continue to fearlessly advocate for the rights of our members and all Zimbabweans. The government must respect human rights and uphold the constitution or face the wrath of the people. Rosa statement about the RT use that but it's much money treatment. It appears. They are Secretary General of Zimbabwe. Mazingi, my CCC youths are not much more Zakari, but they were brutally attacked. Ne my police have seen this. If we are going to video, Pakasungwa, eh, Pakasungwa, my youth, eh, CCC, who have been doing some bad things, but families who are not being watched, but some track, but you know, no one is. The concert was in Joanne, but it's much more. So I'm the. About the history of James on Timber, since the treatment they are pure, since the treatment they are pure, I see Rio, Maria Zimbabwe, about the approach one of the story. This is James on Timber in prison uniform, a very senior opposition leader in Zimbabwe. You must know him today if you didn't already. He is in jail after being arrested last week with his son and 70 other young people who had met at his home to commemorate the 1976 South African Youth Day. Timber loves mentoring young people. Jameson Timber has lost a lot through supporting the struggle against tyranny in Zimbabwe. This is why every saying Zimbabwean should stand up for him and 70 others who are in jail with him. This is a man I met around 2006 when he owned a thriving IT business in Harare and Blawayo. He chose to support the struggle against corrupt rule and tyranny and lost all the contracts he had. He was part of Morgan Tranquilli's political backbone. I remember meeting him at O.R. Tambo Airport in September 2008 when I was flying back home with Morgan Tranquilli. Timber had just landed from Harare. He was fleeing from 2008 post-election violence while Tranglai was returning home after being in hiding, in hiding in Botswana for months. We were driven to the airport by Strive Masiwa security and team of drivers. My then boss, Tim Singleton, who now, who now heads the Sky News foreign desk, flew me to, flew me to Jobek to be on Morgan Changrai's flight back home. I was the ITV news producer covering Zimbabwe and I had a very good relationship with Changrai who agreed that I would get exclusive access to film for our news a ten program a ten program on ITV news in the UK. As we went through VIP security at OR Tambo, Changrai was told that one of his lieutenants had landed and he wanted to see him before he flew out to Harare. It was Timber. Do you have money? Changrai asked Timber. With tears overwhelming him, Timber simply said, I'll be fine, but our people have been brutalized and are in submission. The man 
is a warrior for democracy who never makes noise about what he has done for the struggle or what he has lost because of it. It makes me cry when men like him are persecuted, lose everything, and will fail to even talk about their persecution and suffering. Timba shouldn't be in jail for meeting with young people at his private residence. The captured and shameless courts in Harare must release this man and the others in the 70 others. They were beaten up, some can't even walk, and yet Sanupiev wants to join the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth while doing this. Remember, remember Timba in your prayers. Remember the 70 young people who were arrested with him. This shouldn't happen in a, democrat, in a democratic country. Well, Zimbabwe is a dictatorship. It's got it's got wrenching to think of the injustices Timba and the 70 others are facing and the brazen abuse of power by the authorities. It is said that the recognized CCC faction is quiet while Timba and 70 others are being persecuted. We cannot let other we can we cannot let their stories be forgotten or overlooked. Those are Buddha story and hope which you know. I see tower up I'm sorry about James and Timba Mare Zimbabwe Zombie when I say in I E two zero from Surpinia E no comment section.